Hello everybody, Bob here again, and this is where we left our project off at the last video, and this week uh, I'm going to try to balance these uh, colors out. Okay, so the salmon paint works. It worked in my head for a mature brick building, but it doesn't work in a building like this. Uh, something we learned in the sign company was that red toners break down faster than most, followed by blue. And if you take a look at a spectrum, uh, red is on the extreme high energy side, and they uh, have a ten that those toners have a tendency to break down first, and they go to pink. But this is uh, this terracotta is too pink for my blessing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some red rust powders, and I'm going to go and brush everywhere I have. Um, everywhere I see too much pink and I'm going to tone it down and I'm going to blend the I'm going to blend the brown into the salmon and bring out the uh, bring out the red the color change is subtle and I don't know if you're going to be able to pick it up on the camera but I can see it here it really does make a difference I use Tamiya chalks on this project and they really stick to the uh, plastic. Um, the napkin blend didn't do a great job so I made the uh, napkin a little damp and tried it again. Uh, did a little bit better but was uh, most effective with something I did a little bit later. We'll uh, talk about that in a bit. Don't ask me how I came up with the idea to hit it with a sander, but the building still didn't look right to me, and I don't know what else to do. So this that was an experiment, and I'm generally happy with that step. Still trying to figure out why it doesn't look right to me. Part of it is, is I know I'm missing dirt in these areas so I'm gonna to have to go back and hit these these windows with with black here I 
And I'm probably going to have to hit these sides with red because they're still looking a little too pink for my preference. Doesn't look bad. It just doesn't look like what I'm trying to do. But it's getting better. When I figure out what I'm going to do, I will let you guys know. So after spending more time with the uh, red oxide powders, this is where it turned out and this is uh, more in line with my thought process. Okay, we're getting to the roof details. Didn't like the base gray, so we're gonna try to make them look a little bit more realistic. So I started by taking the base gray and then painting, uh, I think that's gold. And then I'm gonna, next color I'm gonna do a gold metallic, and then I'm gonna do a bronze metallic on top of that. And then uh, probably hit it one more time with the weathering and then put our texture on the, texture on the uh, black space uh, for the tar and gravel roof. And I think that that's gonna complete the model. So, we're getting there. So the final detail is getting a texture on the roof and uh, showed you how to do this in a prior video. It's basically using floral uh, sand that I got at Hobby Lobby and, uh, you know, putting down white glue and then uh, adhering the mixture, you know, spreading it thinly through my fingers to give it a, a nice cinder tarn gravel look. And so here's the final project. Um, give myself a letter grade of a solid B on this one, maybe B minus. And uh, came out for the most part the way I, I liked it. Uh, my experience with lighting was uh, satisfactory. The interior details probably could have done that a little bit better, but uh, all told, I think it's a pretty nice project. This project will be on sale. I have it uh, priced $100 at my local hobby store. I don't know if I'm going to eBay this because I don't know how I'm going to transport it or if it'll get there intact. But if you have any interest, shoot me an email um, and, uh, you know, make an offer. I don't have space for it on this one. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment in the remarks below and uh, 
here's the project.